welcome back to the second part of me showing my collection. Um, in this video, I did, uh, I will uh, show you my second shelf uh, with these tanks and some small stuff. My previous video, I showed you the first shelf. If you want to see it, uh, uh, somewhere over there it will be a, a card. You can click for it. Um, but for now, let's go in and watch this shelf. Um, I will firstly create some space so I can show the tanks better up. Um, therefore, yeah, I will remove all the fakes. So um, let me show you some of these already. These are Panzer, uh, yeah, Commander, Drivers, um, made with the um, Brickmania sticker packs. Um, these are the Volsheim um, uh, Jäger. Also made with Brickmania sticker packs and yeah, maybe this is the right moment to show that I'm not really happy with this pack because look at the arm stickers, they are coming really off and look at the feet, do you see what's happening here? The stickers are letting go after a while, they're coming loose. And I'm not so satisfied with that and that's the main reason why I've decided to no longer buy any sticker packs anymore because in the long term they suck and that's really too bad because I really liked it and it's a cheap way of um, building a nice uh, Lego army but yeah, when it, all these stickers come out yeah it's just not good let's be honest so um, yeah I decided um, from now on, I'm no longer buying any sticker packs, I only go for printed figures. Um, those being uh, way more expensive, I will buy way less of them. Um, I will try to get more of them on the uh, yeah, used uh, products uh, websites like uh, maybe eBay or uh, in the Netherlands we got a site called Marktplaats, it's a very big um, uh, buying and selling website. You can use to um, yeah buy and sell used products and also new products and I already bought some stuff of it. Um, here another um, yeah German guy uh, and here <laughs> simple I liked it. It's actually it's all Lego parts uh, original printing. Uh, smash uh, brick arms helmet on it and it looks like a sweaty uh, upper uh, maintenance German guy. And in that one is a German guy too. All sticker, stickers, stickers. So let me now remove some uh, tanks to give some space and uh, show you each tank a little bit. Okay, first I will start with, um, once again, um, warning you guys, but be aware there can be a lot of noise in the background because my neighbor is remodeling, rebuilding his house and uh, at this moment they are placing um, um, yeah I don't know uh, windows, uh, new window uh, frames and it's making a lot of uh, hammering noise so I don't hope it's very uh, disturbing but uh, yeah otherwise I never can uh, do this uh, <laughs> video so I have to start some, some moment. Okay the first one on these shelves um, these are two small builds um, two German um, yeah, mortars. Um, this one I don't really have, know what name it should have. I, I spotted a picture of it uh, on internet. Someone used this design and I thought it's a really nice one to have. And uh, such a simple build, such a um, yeah, easy way to uh, build a nice uh, prop actually for mocks or things like that. So I, I, I built it too and it's in my collection. Uh, this one is one I came up with myself. It's uh, supposed to be a little mortar um, uh, uh, called Granatwerfer uh, 36. And um, yeah, I brick built it, but it's uh, a bit too chunky because uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not fully satisfied with it. Um, I think it looks good. But if you see the original uh, real life thing, this one is way too chunky and uh, yeah, it's not, it's not the way I hoped it would be. But hey, I got it. <laughs> All right, then uh, let's start with this one. Put it in the light. 
Uh, this one is a SD Kiev KFZ uh, 265. Yes, that's the way I pronounce it. 265. It's a in German called Panzerbevelswagen. Um, this design is by Todd, uh, Todd Eller, Florida shooter. And he donated it to my channel uh, so I could do a tutorial video on it. And I did. So there uh, will be a link above uh, to show you the tutorial video on this one. I really like the build. Um, one thing I almost do on every single build uh, of design dot, dot donates to me, I uh, put on a shovel. Uh, I don't know why, but I think each tank should have a shovel. And this is the only one I didn't. And that's because this was the only spot it could be done. And um, yeah, the shovel would be too big. So until this moment, this is the only tank I have from Todd that don't does not have a shovel. <laughs> okay, um, let me see. There's a small feature, of course. Of you can... Um, open and close the hatches I think that's really good about this design and yeah uh, I really like it uh, it's a it's a light, nice little build it's based on the um, a frame that um, um, I, I can't remember which frame it was I thought it was the, the Czech uh, tank the Germans used the uh, 38T uh, that's the chassis um, that Todd uses in uh, uh, numerous kind of builds and yeah this one is based on it so yeah I really like it and uh, yeah I think it's a good design next up the pack of 38 it's a Brugmania kit um, yeah it's a I think it's one of the most uh, known and one of my first uh, Brugmania kits I ever owned um, yeah it's a it's a nice design can't uh, say anything about it. I think it could be, could have been done better, but um, hey, it's a good one. It's a good one. And the next one, it's actually two of them. And this is the original design by Brickmania. It's currently in the book of, I thought it was the Blitzkrieg Bricks book. Um, I really want to say how this one is called, but I, I, I don't get get the name out of my mouth it's I, I only can butcher it in German so it's a, a seven and a half centimeters howitzer it, uh, it, it had a name it has a name but I just can't pronounce it in German well enough to be confident to do it so <laughs> I'm not going to do that if this is the original Brickmania design um, like I said it's in the it's an old one uh, I actually think this is my very very first uh, Brickmania kit ever and I did a re, uh, remock, I think it's called, um, in this dark blues gray. Uh, I think, um, let's compare this one. I thought uh, it could be done better and it would be, it would look better in dark blues gray, so I did. And um, in pictures and videos, I thought, I thought, I saw that the, uh, the gun, the howitzer gun is loaded on the top so I thought hey that's could be changed very easily and also I spotted there uh, this ridge so I added that one and just I think it gave it all uh, just a little bit more appearance just I think it I think it looks better and um, than the original but of course it's your uh, call if you think it's better or not uh, just just leave it in the comments. Uh, I would love to hear what you think about this one uh, comparing to the original Brickmania one. I'm happy having to have both. Um, yeah, uh, what can I say? Oh, also, uh, the tutorial on this one is one of my first videos on this channel. So I will also put up a link over there uh, so you can see the tutorial so you can build one of these for yourself. So the next tank in line is this one. This is a Brickmania design. It's a Panzer II. Ausführung Z. Z. Um, I built this with the instructions from the Rats and Foxes uh, instruction book from Brickmania. So it should be in 
tan. Uh, Brigmania never released this one in light bluish gray. I think uh, I'm saying this and I think oh, maybe they did, but I'm not aware of that. Um, I just took um, the instructions from the Africa Corp uh, um, uh, tank and yeah, I just made it in uh, light bluish gray. Um, why? I don't know. At the moment, I had a lot of um, um, light bluish gray. Uh, bricks and tiles, so I think that's the reason why I decided to do it in light bluish gray instead of tan. Um, yeah, not not much to do with this uh, this tank. Opening hatches on the top, spinning turret. Um, yeah, you can raise and lower the antenna. Otherwise, not much happening with this little one. Although it's a nice kit. Um, I like it. I like it uh, in the dark blue, uh, the light blue is great color too. Um, maybe one day I will build one uh, in tan. But for now, this is light blue is one. The next tank is this one. And this is the Pans 3. And this is the house form. Uh, H, H, H. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure how to pronounce that one correctly in English, so you have to believe me on that one. Um, um, yeah, one thing I miss, um, maybe already people know, is that I don't have a lot of original Britmania kits. I mostly uh, use instruction manuals um, that I get from trading or uh, from the books. I buy a lot of books. I almost buy all the books I can. Um, yeah, main, main, the main reason for that is that... Um, I love the Brickmania designs, I really do, um, but I don't love their prices. I think there's, they, they are mostly way overpriced and that's not okay. Um, I know a lot of people will comment, yeah, but they are in business, they have to make money. I know it, I know it's true and um, I, I'm not commenting about that, but sometimes it's just insane how much, how much overpriced their kits are. So I, I'm not liking that. Um, also, um, Minia and I don't have the best relationship uh, yeah, for the past last year. And um, yeah, th 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 there were things said that's not good. And um, um, I believe that when I'm spending my money on a business, I want um, to spend my money on a business that I think that deserves my money. And at this moment in time, um, I don't think Brickmania deserves my money, so um, I think they. Uh, I, I pay for the books because I think that those are good products, um, but I'm not gonna buy the kits just because they are too overpriced, and I think they are making too much uh, money out of it. And yeah, okay, uh, enough about that. Let's talk about this tank. Um, Hans Drei. Um, it should have a gun over here, I think instead of this um, yeah this is a cheap solution because I didn't have the right gun um, opening hatches on the side opening hatches on the top gun to shoot with nope. antenna that can be lowered and raised spinning turret elevating gun oh I didn't this this no this not elevating gun spare wheels some nice tracks. Can pull some stuff. Yeah, overall, nice tank. I like the turret. Um, I think some people will say it's not fully accurate. I know. I think it could be done better. I don't like the way it looks. It's a nice little, uh, yeah, little chubby tank. I like it. Next up, two Panzer fours. Um, before anyone starts coming at this, these aren't the right tracks. I know, I know, I have to change them um, for um, uh, single wide, uh, one and a half wide tracks like this one. But I, what, th at the moment that I built this Panzer IV, I want to look how, uh, I want to see how it looks with uh, double wide tracks, and I still think it looks awesome. Um, but it means it's not historical, uh, historical accurate. Uh, 
but yeah, uh, sometimes I just like stuff to look good. Um, this one is the Ausfuhr E, and this one is the D, if I'm correct. Um, I managed to uh, mistake those two every now and then. Um, this one is directly built from Blitzkrieg Brook. Uh, looks really good. It's a nice uh, um, uh, parts usage. Not too many extremely rare parts. I think the most expensive part of all this is the bottle. <laughs> um, yeah, really like the model. Um, oh yeah, the, the track links are the most expensive parts, of course. It's, it has not that much features. There's a hatch over here. There's a hatch on top. It's coming to light a little bit. Don't drop from the hatch. Turning, rotating turret, elevating gun. Um, yeah, well, that's about it. Oh yeah, you can lift the antenna up of course and then yeah I really like this uh, Panzer 4 it's uh, I have seen uh, uh, pictures and videos of other people building Panzer 4s with uh, Lego and they are less chunky than this one uh, so I think it's a, a maybe I made it too big but still uh, in line with all the other uh, many things I think this one looks good very good um, like I said, this one is I, actually it's almost exactly the same uh, as the other one, but um, different doors, hatches over there. Uh, yeah, I like it. Also, I did uh, use tubing instead of um, a gun for money reasons. <laughs> now I have um, the two tanks I love the most in my collection, and that's. This is the first one, this Tiger one, Ausfuhr H, H, and uh, yeah, I really love this tank. Man, with the big ass tank this is, it's such a cool thing. Um, it's a Brickmania design, it's an old one. Uh, in the current um, a book called Overlord Bricks, there's a, a Tiger one in camo. I really want to build that one too because I really like the camo. But this one in dark blue gray is also awesome to see. It has a lot of opening and closing hatches on top of it. Um, uh, here, the gunner and the, the driver have both a hatch. I really like that on this model. Uh, I changed once again uh, this uh, tubing for a gun. Um, there aren't more hatches, are they? Nope. There is a big spinning turret and a big gun. The newest. Uh, uh, I hope you don't uh, have too much problems with my neighbor banging now on his windows. Okay. Um, uh, the newest ones have a really cool um, uh, muzzle brake. Uh, although I am uh, one of those persons that prefer brick build uh, 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 things and uh, models without too much usage of uh, 3D printed or uh, otherwise made uh, third party uh, elements. So I, I, I'm still uh, in favor of uh, this way of building. Although, although I really think the muscle brick looks good, I still prefer uh, this one. So yes, this is one of my uh, favorite models I have, but the main one I really, really, really love. The, I, the most tank, I, yeah, this is my most favorite tank of all times. Uh, this is, of course, the Brickmania King Tiger. Man, how I love this tank. This huge turret. It's really really chunky big uh, uh, body it's it's so cool it's so cool I made this out of uh, uh, yeah, instructions that I get um, um, once again um, didn't buy the kit 
just bought parts uh, and therefore uh, parts like this is not printed uh, like Brickmania has but I used um, the uh, uh, printed tile, round tile from a Star Wars kit uh, I had that one around here it's like those parts in there and I really like these uh, uh, yeah, to use on this tank Futures, yeah, um, it has an opening hatch yeah, you have to pull it out and turn it around it's, I'm not gonna do it because I'm definitely gonna break it I um, love all the threads mounted on the back uh, sides of the uh, turret um, hatches over here, here really big one not a brick built one, maybe this one would have been looked better with uh, a molded uh, muzzle brake it's hard to get it into the line but yeah I think you get the picture I really like this uh, this tank I used um, stickers from um, I thought it was Brick Factory Berlin uh, a web shop German web shop that uh, sells uh, sticker sheets I think these fit perfectly on here uh, yeah what else can I say about this then it's totally awesome um, yeah <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome one. It, that is just it. Let's put all tanks back in their spot. Uh, yeah. That's my pile of Brickmania stuff. Uh, books I use. Uh, that's the next shelf for the next video. I hope to do it next Friday. My neighbor gives me a break and don't make so much noise as it does right now. Uh, uh, I'm not sure where everything went again. So, some more space. Put it all back. Yeah, the soldiers will come in later. But. So, my second shelf, my second episode. Um, like I said, there are some, a lot of shelves to be done. Also the stable. So for now, I leave you guys this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the, this part of my collection. And uh, if you didn't subscribe yet, please subscribe. Um, I really need some more subscribers, but what I need the most is um, um, viewing minutes. So please people, if I want uh, uh, to continue my channel, I, I need some income somehow. And um, I hoped uh, when I reached a thousand uh, subscribers I could have made some uh, uh, money with YouTube although I knew it wouldn't be uh, huge um, it seems uh, I discovered uh, it seems that uh, you also need at least 4,000 hours of watching time and uh, well I'm nowhere near it so I hope you all watch this video until the bitter end and uh, <laughs> giving me those valuable minutes uh, to uh, yeah, finally make some money out of my YouTube channel because um, building all these models isn't cheap, and um, yeah, I've got still got uh, some nice models um, for uh, uh, tutorials to make, but um, yeah, it, it won't take too long, and I'm out of models, and I really need some more money to buy new bricks. So please support me by watching my videos will full length and uh, I will be very thankful for it. Uh, also in the link uh, of this description, uh, also there will be a link in the description of my uh, Bricklink store. Um, it's very small at the moment, I'm trying to expand. Uh, I can only expand if people buy from me. <laughs> so um, if you need bricks and uh, for the moment you are in uh, located in Europe, please check out if I can help you with my Bricklink store. Uh, buying uh, from a Bricklink, Bricklink store will also uh, sponsor my um, YouTube channel and uh, make it possible to build, uh, make more um, building tutorial videos. Uh, yeah, so thank you for if you do that. Yeah.